Joining us now, the man who gave the Republican response to President Obama last night, Senator Marco Rubio of Florida. Good morning, Senator. Thanks for joining us this morning. Good morning, George. Thank you. So you laid out some very clear differences with the president last night on the core economic issues. I want to try to tease out where there might be some common ground. Let's go through the issue of guns to begin with. You said that we can't have any proposals that unconstitutionally undermine Second Amendment rights. But do you agree with the president that there should, that there should at least be an up or down vote on his proposals? Well, I mean, you can say that about any issue in Washington, and certainly if that's the way it works through, its, it has to work through the legislative process. There are other issues that should have an up, up and down vote as well. We should have a budget. We should have a real plan to save Medicare. We should have a real plan to grow our economy. We should have a real plan for tax reform. All these deserve an up and down vote again as well. Now, as I said last night, we were all heartbroken and we are all sympathetic about what happened in Connecticut. And, and, and we need to prevent that from happening again. Unfortunately, all these things the president is proposing, none of them would have prevented what happened in Connecticut. I think we need to look at the real root causes of violence in America. And on the issue of immigration, uh, the president said he wanted a responsible pathway to earn citizenship. You've signed on to bipartisan principles that also call for a path to citizenship, but you didn't repeat it last night. Do you still share that goal? Well, the speech wasn't just going to be about immigration. I'm part of that work group, and, and that's I, we laid out our principles, and I remain committed to those principles. And ultimately, it's not good for America to have 11 million people who never have a chance to fully become invested in the American dream. So there'll have to be a process to get there. They're going to have to have a work permit first. They're going to have to earn the right to ultimately earn that green card. And obviously, once you have a green card, you're five years away from becoming a citizen. The big clash with the president last night on those core economic issues, and as you know, those across-the-board budget cuts are coming fast on March 1st, a potential government shutdown at the end of March. The president last night asked members of Congress to promise not to shut down the government, not to do anything that would undermine the full faith and credit of the United States. Can you take that pledge? No one here is talking about shutting down the government. And as far as these automatic cuts are concerned, George, those were hers, his ideas. He insisted on that. He's the one that asked that for that in that uh, deal that passed last year. Those were signed on by Democrats, Republicans, and the president alike. Yeah, well, I didn't vote for it because not, one of the reasons I didn't vote for it is because that was such a terrible idea. But, the, but, but I think it's, it's wrong for him to insist on that. He actually came up with it. It originated in the White House, the idea of these automatic cuts that specifically hit defense and the military. And now he's going around saying we have to get rid of them. We may, but don't go around acting like you have nothing to do with it. You, it was your idea. Well, the president preferred an alternative, as you know. He wanted to have a broader agreement with Democrats and Republicans to avoid the sequester. That was the failsafe. Well, we all prefer that. I mean, and the, 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 the question, of course, is if he really prefers a broader alternative, when does he offer? When is he going to offer it? President Obama has been president now for four years and a month. The budgets he has offered are so ridiculous, George, that not even Democrats in the Senate would vote for them. Finally, I got to ask you about that water bottle last night. Twitter yeah. went a little oh. bit wild. You tweeted yeah. out the water bottle yourself. You got it there <laughs> again. Uh, you know, was, I mean, you, you showed an ability to laugh at yourself. <laughs> Do you have anything to add to that tweet from last no, night? I mean, you know, I mean, I needed water. What am I going to do? You know, it happens. Uh, God has a funny way of reminding us we're human. <laughs> well, you have a big smile on your face this morning. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Jordan.